What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to take a look at a product that will eliminate Wi-Fi dead spots pretty much anywhere in your home. So if you maybe have some outside cameras uh, that are Wi-Fi connected and your existing Wi-Fi signal doesn't really reach it or it's really weak, you can simply pick up one of these repeaters and extend that signal out to that camera or whatever else uh, you might need instead of having to buy a whole new uh, expensive Wi-Fi system. Now there's a couple different ways that you can use this. One is as a repeater and basically what that does is it takes your existing signal and extends that to wherever you need it. Now there's also a few other ways that you can use this device and one is to make it an access point by connecting an Ethernet cord to the bottom of the device that goes into your router. Now the other way that you can use this is to bring Wi-Fi to an area of your home where you don't have the option to plug into an Ethernet port. So basically it'll capture the Wi-Fi signal and allow you to utilize the Ethernet port on the bottom of the device to plug into a gaming unit or say a computer. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over all of the ways you can hook this device up, but first let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box. So here we have our repeater. It has two antennas. There's your wall connection and then the ethernet port at the bottom. And then here we have our installation guide. And that's pretty much all you get inside the box. That's really all you need other than maybe the ethernet cable to fit into the bottom here. Now the real other really nice thing is that this does support 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signals and can do up to about 1200 uh, megabytes a second and that's combined with the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz signals. So the 2.4 is capable of doing 300 uh, megabytes a second and the 5 gigahertz signal is capable of doing 867. So combined that gives you almost about uh, 1200 megabytes. So Again, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the setup just to show you how easy this is, and then we'll test out those speeds. Okay, so the first setup method I'm going to show you is using the WPS button, and this is going to be the easiest way to set up your device. So first we need to plug this into the wall outlet. Then we're gonna go ahead and wait for our little power LED to stay on blue, which it is. Then we'll go ahead and press the WPS button. Okay, now as you can see, the WPS button is blinking, so now we'll go ahead and go over to our wireless router and hold in that WPS button. And then if we come back over here to our repeater, as you can see, the WPS uh, LED is now solid, which means everything is all connected, and that's the easiest way to set that up. And then here, as you can see, the LED for the signal is turning blue to let you know that this is a good area to set up this Wi-Fi extender. Now, the second way that you can set this up is without using the WPS button is to plug in the repeater, wait for the power LED to be solid, then go ahead and go over to your computer or a device. Make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. Then we're going to go ahead and look for the rock space uh, underscore EXT or 5G EXT and we'll go ahead and connect to that. Once we've connected to that we're going to go ahead and open up our web browser. In this case it already does it. We're going to go ahead and select a password. Okay we'll go ahead and click next. As you can see it's scanning for Wi-Fi networks. Now we're going to go ahead and choose the Wi-Fi network of the router that we want to use. So in this case, it's going to be my mastermind. I'm going to go ahead and select mastermind 5G. We'll go ahead and put in that password. And then as you can see here, it makes uh, my Wi-Fi SSID the same thing, but adds a 5G EXT to it. We'll go ahead and click extend. Okay, it extended successfully, and as you can see, the top Mastermind 5G EXT is the 2.4 gigahertz, and the one that says Mastermind underscore 5G underscore 5G EXT is the 5G extension right here. And as you can see on our extender, the signal is blue, telling us that we have the best possible signal that we can get. And then here we are uh, connected to the uh, repeater's 5G. 
And again, that WPS button does pretty much the same thing. It just makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker to set up. Another really nice thing about this repeater is it has a little LED by the signal to let you know if it's in a good area or not. If you're in a good area with a good strong signal for the repeater to use, the LED is going to be blue. If it's red, you're not going to want to put the repeater in that area because the signal is too weak. And then if there's no uh, LED, there is absolutely no connection there. So you want to move this into an area where you see the little blue LED. Okay, so right now I'm just going to do some baseline tests. I'm not connected to the uh, repeater yet. I'm connected directly to my Wi-Fi router. I just want you to see what speeds I'm getting directly from that. And this is on the 5 gigahertz signal. And right now I am pretty much right next door to my Wi-Fi router downstairs in my basement. And we're going to go ahead and go upstairs and we're going to do a test on the first floor to see what we get there too as well. So we're definitely getting some pretty good speeds uh, right next door to the Wi-Fi router. Okay, so now that we did the baseline test from the Wi-Fi router, now I'm going to connect to the repeater and see what kind of speeds we get here. As you can see, I am connected to the 5G portion. So we'll go ahead and do a speed test. So first off, we can really see that the uploads are definitely not nearly as fast as the Wi-Fi routers, but again, this is to extend your Wi-Fi to where you don't get any, and these speeds are definitely good enough to do any gaming, uh, streaming 4K video, or utilizing it for outside cameras, like I said before. So this at least gives you some idea of what kind of speeds we're looking at right now. So here I have the Wi-Fi repeater set up upstairs. It's probably nine feet away from my front door. We're gonna go ahead and go outside and we're gonna see what kind of speed tests we can get. And as you can see, the LED for the signal is lit up blue to let you know that this is a strong signal area to set this up. Okay, so this is going to be the best possible test that I can show you. As you can see, I'm outside in front of my house on the sidewalk and my wireless router barely reaches out here. As you can see, the only thing that shows up is the normal 2.4. The five gigahertz won't even come up out here because it's too far away. So we'll go ahead and connect to the 2.4 uh, wireless router network. As you can see, it's unable to even join it. I'll try again. Yeah, so I can't even connect to my, my uh, wireless router's 2.4 network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the 5G Wi-Fi extender, which is connected right now, and we'll go ahead and do a speed test. So as you can clearly see, the Wi-Fi extender does work and significantly extends your Wi-Fi signal to even outside your house to, like I said, if you have like cameras or something uh, outside your home, this will definitely benefit you. Uh, and you can see where we couldn't even connect to our original Wi-Fi uh, router, which is the Mastermind one, to even do a test. We'll see if it connects now. So it does actually look like we were able to connect to the 2.4 original Wi-Fi uh, signal. And as you can see, this is all that we're getting here, 0.08. Uh, down and it's probably not going to be any much better for the uploads if at all. Yeah It's a, a slightly better for the uploads And again that was on the original uh, Wi-Fi router signal not using the extender Okay, so you also do have the option to turn this into a wireless access point. I will also be showing you how to bring Wi-Fi to a hardwired device, but for right now we're just going to show you the setup, uh, how to turn this into a wireless access point. And the setup is just a little bit different than the way we set it up 
uh, for the repeater option. So first, uh, you're going to plug it in, make sure the power LED is solid blue. Then we're going to go ahead and go on our device. We'll go ahead and, and connect to either the Rockspace EXT or the 5G. We'll just go to the regular one. It's going to connect, then it will open up the logon page. Now from here, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and click Not Now. Then we're going to click Switch Mode. We're going to change to AP Mode. Click OK. You can name the SSID, which is going to be your Wi-Fi signal. And then we're going to go ahead and create a password. Then we'll go ahead and click Done. Okay, everything is all configured now. So as you will see, it will show up on our networks in just a second. Okay, so that took about 30 seconds. Here is the 2.4 gigahertz signal. And then we also have the 5G uh, signal there. So if you're fortunate enough to have your home wired for Ethernet and you have a Ethernet port close to uh, one of your wall outlets, you can hardwire this in directly to your router, which is where I have mine, and you'll get a much uh, more solid signal. The only issue with using the hardwire to the repeater is the fact that it's going to be capped out at 100 megabytes a second for your upload and download speeds because that's all the Ethernet port is capable of doing. Okay, so before we do anything else, I kind of want to show you that setup page for the access point. So first off, again, on your device, you're going to want to make sure you're connected to the Rockspace uh, SSID. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and go over to a web page. Then what you're going to do is type in re.rockspace.local, hit enter, and it should take you to this Rockspace page. Here it shows the status of the access point. You can see our blacklist page if we have anything blacklisted. Here's our Wi-Fi settings. There's your SSID where you can change that to whatever you want. Put in a new password. Operating mode. As you can see, we have it in AP and not repeater mode, but you can also change that. And here's the admin page. Let's see what we got here. You can set a new log on password. You can reboot it, reset it, export syslog or firmware update. So it looks like for the firmware upgrade, if you have a file, you would click firmware upgrade and then you can uh, select that upgrade if you want. It doesn't look like it automatically checks for that firmware upgrade. Okay, so here's an example of using the repeater as an access point. Now it is connected still to my wireless router. As you can see, the little signal LED is blue, letting you know that it is in a great area for it to capture that Wi-Fi signal. We're going to turn it into a wired connection. We have the uh, Ethernet cable plugged into the bottom of the repeater, and then I have the other end plugged into this dock here, which I'm going to now connect to this computer. As you can see, the computer is not connected to any Wi-Fi. It's got no internet or anything like that. So once we plug into uh, the dock here, we should get some internet. So as you can see, the accessory lights are lighting up. We should see some connection on our computer. Internet connection, okay. It's identifying. All right, so now we're connected wired to the dock to the repeater here as you can see we are connected to the ookla speed test we'll go ahead and do that So as you can see, we got some pretty good speeds on the speed test using the repeater uh, as a, a hardline connection for whatever device you need. So if you do have that spot where there is no uh, hardwired connection, you can always use your repeater to get that signal to where you need it. So I definitely think that these are a great option if you're just looking to extend your Wi-Fi signal, maybe to a little bit out of your home. You know, maybe you want to sit out by your pool and surf the web and your original Wi-Fi router just doesn't make it. Or maybe you might have some outdoor cameras in some up high places on your roof that the Wi-Fi just doesn't reach. This will definitely get rid of any of those dead spots. And it's super simple to set up. Like you saw, one press of the WPS button and it simply sets everything up for you.
I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick these up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.